peace love and life this message is for pisces pisces this message is for you Let's check to see what's in your energy wheel card showing up maybe some sort of a cycle something spiritual elevation um you may be learning something new about yourself spiritually death card showing up hmm speaking of new transition death and rebirth uh, again you may be connected to scorpio energy you may have scorpio in your chart intuition showing up too that wheel card seems to uh, okay what message okay pisces mm, high priestess speaking of intuition let's get that flying card Pisces, this is what's showing up for you. Three of Pentacles. Working to elevate on something together. Two of Wands. Hmm. Elevating yourself. Uh, moving in a certain direction. High Priestess. Hmm. High Priestess is beaming, glowing. Um, and the Hierophant showed up earlier. So it's like that's the that's the male version of the high priestess so you may be dealing with those two energies or if it's anything like that showed up for scorpio vices it may be indicating you know hmm, two different sides you definitely have some sort of uh, collaborative energy here so this may be an indication of your knowledge of working with the divine to build this tapestry to build your uh, your connection to the divine to elevate you spiritually um, to help you mentally uh, overcome anything and everything something about the high priestess the death card shows up for you again and so does the wands wands and wands creative this is energy this is an energy of transformation whatever is happening pisces this your spirituality is being highlighted and this energy of transformation the number 13 could be significant to you uh 13 which equals four which is an energy of stability um perhaps the divine is working to create a stability in your gift of sight okay and this is also an indication of some sort of power um elevating you in your power in your spiritual power the death card is a very powerful energy okay it's an energy of transformation and it's also an energy of uh, being in tune with what is unknown uh, being aware of what most don't mm, information page of swords is kind of like peeping out in that deck over there and it just changed by itself again an energy of transformation so th you're gonna be seeing a lot of changes uh, Pisces and they're really going to be happening quite quickly you're going to be seeing a lot of changes in your spiritual gift that are coming quite qu quickly that are going to bring you news of you know moving towards something moving also away from something whatever you're moving away from it's going to help you move closer to your power closer to um closer to your elevation closer to the place that you actually uh desire to be the place that you want to be and perhaps this place is having to do with you know having uh stable relationships oh look at that three of pentacles is clarified by three of pentacles pisces i'm getting that you're you may be a bit lonely you may actually have this 
I'm almost seeming like it's a craving for, uh, you know, to, to find like minds, to find people that you can call family, people that you can work with, people that you know won't turn around and deceive you to have you put you in this energy of always having to you know fight um not that you are always having to fight <laughs> and look what's showing up as i speak these cards are like doing their own things five of wands conflict you're trying to stay away from conflict and you're not dealing with folks that are coming with that kind of energy because listen you might be a little tight yeah you might you just like listen you know you're either divine is sounding its trumpet and so are you you're like this is enough i've had about enough of this <laughs> and i don't know why this song is coming up heard it all before <laughs> yeah so you know they've come in their energies of deceit pretending to be something they're not you know you're, you're just trying to move forward trying to you know find your happiness and joy find your rainbow <laughs> find your brightness you're like you know too many of these secrets unknown things that people are keeping that you know they they're they're just too much you know creating illusions it's too much of that you know you're not having that mm -hmm. so it's like I'm also getting that this energy of the High Priestess and the Three of Pentacles um, coming together. Spirit may also be telling you that you've, you've been experiencing some loneliness, perhaps, as a result of elevating yourself spiritually. You may have been finding yourself more uh, by yourself. And this may be creating some you know, some energies that you're trying to change at this time. And this is why the death card showed up. You're trying to change this. You're trying to open up your options, mm -hmm. you know, have some meaningful connections. Yeah, like this energy of being tied up, feeling like, feeling restricted. You know, it's like you want, you while you want to have the friends, you want to engage with you know others you know who are possibly of like minds you know who are spiritually elevated i'm getting that you may have felt you know you you may have experienced some deceit there may have been people that came pretending to be you know this spiritual all you know peaceful you know type of energy <laughs> You know, and that's not what they are. It's like you may have been in a period where even you as the high priestess, you know, were blinded or someone did something of some sort. Right. So you've had these experiences that you're not trying to have. You're trying to get a brand new type of experience. Ah, Pisces, I'm getting it gets lonely being uh, a spiritual person. It gets lonely not thinking like others it's like you're putting up your defense you feel like you have to put up your guard all the time right you're working <laughs> i'm here i've been working on the railroad okay it's like you're putting in all this work you're doing all this stuff and then it's like at the end of the day you're like you know who do i have to share it with right I have all this to offer. You have all this abundance that you can offer. And this abundance for some of you is like what you can offer spiritually. For some of you, this is actually uh, resources. And yet it's like, it gets lonely. Look at that. Eight of Cups. You have so much to offer. And yet, why are you so lonely? You know? You have so much to offer to anyone who would want to be your friend, who would want to be in a relationship with you, yet you may be lonely. And this has to do with your experiences. Look, you're looking for some friends. This is what you're looking for. You want to celebrate. You want to toast. You want to be able to, you know, drink from that cup and not think that there's some in there. <laughs> Oh, spirit has a sense of humor pisces spirit has a sense of humor okay uh oh wee yeah speaking of something that cut 
talking about some high Pisces. Remember me? Hmm, there might be a earth sign in your energy that's trying to, you know, peek through. Or perhaps you're thinking or you may have thought about this person. Mm-hmm. An earth sign. Uh, this is Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. Ah, but there's no room for them. Like, you're like, listen, bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Take your take your horns and go 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 sit down somewhere. Okay. With your nasty little hands, devil. Take that, take that and go somewhere else. Okay, you I don't know who you saying hi to. It ain't Pisces. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, Pisces. Let's see what the ancestors are saying. Regarding this reading, you have so much to offer, Pisces. So much. Message of clarity. Okay. Message of clarity regarding this reading. Amaru, beautiful place, and Ingonyama. Hmm. This is 26 and 22. This is 8 and 4. Let's see. A beautiful place. 26. So 26 is saying Amaru. Don't be scared to face a problem head on. You don't need to be willful about a solution, but in meeting the issue, you shall simplify the complexity and recognize the practical steps that will create healing change. Keep your mind and heart open as you ask for unconditionally loving guidance on how to evoke divine healing in any situation. An outcome is available to you that is far more beautiful and divinely inspired than what you can currently envision. Ask for divine help and trust unconditionally in the assistance that lead you from the limitations of your current thinking into the perfection of what the divine wishes for you and our world. A beautiful place and a beautiful space is coming to you, Pisces. This is what the divine is saying. Yes, this is this is your message of hope. Okay, because I sense this energy. Okay, Ingonyama. This oracle indicates awakening and healing and strengthening divine masculine energy within the soul for taking initiative and leading with wisdom. Conserve your energy, get plenty of rest, but when the time is right, let your soul roar and your true voice be heard without hesitation or fear. All right. That is the word of the divine. Okay, Pisces, if this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and divine light.